When archaeologists started digging up 7,000-year-old skulls with healed over burr holes, they realized they had proof of the earliest surgery. Historians believe that fractured leg bones were splinted before that, and that stitching together of laceration wounds probably is as old as stitching of clothing, which is in the 150,000 years ago range. But we have absolute proof with burr holes in skulls as the earliest proven surgical procedure. The ancient Greek word for bore, or make a hole, is trepan. And in the 1600s came the word trephine, which is a small circular saw specifically for boring holes in skulls. Some have speculated that trephination popped up all over the world because collapsed and pushed in skull fractures from club trauma during battle were able to be pulled out after drilling a hole so one could get a finger inside the skull or a hook inside and pull it out. This would expand the space to allow proper blood flow through the brain and also would allow blood clots to escape the intracranial space instead of putting undue pressure and destructive pressure on the brain within. I, it brought back to life a few who were certainly dying and thus it became a common procedure. But since it worked for battle injury, could it work for anything else? 4,000 years ago, in the pre-Incan Peruvian culture, archaeologists discovered that something like 6% of the skeletons from that culture had holes drilled in their heads, as likely a treatment prescribed not only for head injuries, but also mental illnesses, epilepsy, headaches, and more. By comparing healed holes and skull versus trephined holes without healing before death, we think that about 60% survived such invasive surgery in this time when there was no anesthesia, no sterile technique, and no antibiotics. It's interesting how patients and physicians cling to something that works for one condition, and when desperate for an answer for other conditions, will try it for them as well. Trephination became a wrong treatment for desperate people and physicians who were willing to go beyond the scientific proof. Of course, modern brain surgery improved with the development of anesthesia in the early half of the 1800s, of sterile technique in the second half of the 1800s, the discovery of x-ray and MRIs and CAT scans in the late 1900s. We no longer trephin holes in skulls for mental illness and epilepsy and headaches but we are trephining holes skull into skulls to allow blood clots to escape, and that part hasn't changed much for the last 7,000 years.